Let's talk about open doors. In Revelations 3, verse 8, it says, Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one will be able to shut. What a beautiful Bible verse that is for us. Behold, God says, I have set before you this moment in your life an open door, and it is so open, it is open for you, and no one else will be able to shut that door. Truthfully, only we are able to shut that door when we don't go through it, when we refuse to believe that it's a new day and that there is an open door. Well, I pray that the door to your good lies open before you this day. It may seem at times that a door that you wish to enter has been closed to you. Perhaps you didn't receive the employment you desired. A relationship has dissolved or some other situation has occurred and forced you to change direction. I've had that happen, and I felt at the time with my whole being like it's a closed door that's been padlocked. And then later on, with the, with the prosperity of time, I've been able to look back and say, thank God that that door was closed so that I could turn in a new direction and go through multiple open doors that were available for me by God. It is important to reaffirm our faith in God. God is the only source of our good. To know that constantly. It is not some person. It is not some paycheck. It is not some job. It is God, our continuous source of good. And we live by this truth, by knowing that no person, no circumstance can take our good ever from us. Whenever one door closes, it is a signal to us from now on that another door is about to open, a wider one, opening somewhere so that greater good will be available to us. We can find happiness and we can find fulfillment in spite of change. For change opened doors that we did not know before even existed. Change brings great opportunities for good when we're receptive to these newly open doors. I pray that your life is filled with open doors. God bless you.